Top Gun Maverick gives Maverick a perfect ending, but Top Gun 3 must still happen. What's going on out there, everyone? WFS, your doctor here. And I have a question for all of you out there. Do you think a sequel to this film really needs to happen? Top Gun Maverick, to me, was a perfect sequel in every way. Great story from beginning to end. Character development was great. It just was, as I said before, a perfect movie. And when you hear stories and rumors about a Top Gun 3, it just doesn't make me feel good. I'm not up on that idea. It was perfect timing for Maverick to come out. And when I see them talking about a part three, it just screams cash grab. Even though the long-awaited Top Gun sequel, Top Gun Maverick, managed to wrap up the story of Maverick perfectly, Top Gun 3 still needs to happen. It is never easy for the filmmakers to know which franchise needs to end. When a franchise needs to end, excuse me. Some series can go on to, until critics and eventually fans complain that they have lost the spark, while others end after only two or three installments. Since there was a 36-year gap between Top Gun and Top Gun Maverick, it is tough to tell which camp the franchise will still fall into. Question for all of you out there. Does two movies make a franchise? Just a, th just, just a thought. I'm just curious. The ending of Top Gun Maverick manages to artfully wrap up Maverick's character arc while setting up the story for his replacement. When Top Gun, Tom Cruise, Top Gun's anti-hero, is first seen in Top Gun Maverick, he is still an adrenaline-addicted burnout who never lived up to his potential since he never got over losing Goose and blaming himself for the death of his wingman. However, by the end of Top Gun Maverick, Maverick has saved Goose's son Rooster, earned Rooster's respect, and learned to forgive himself. Not only that, but Maverick's disastrous romantic life gets a positive update in Top Gun Maverick. Early in the sequel, the Top Gun hero admits that he never really opened up his er to his earlier love interest, but by the ending, he has it has reunited with Jennifer Con Connelly's Penny, and for once, he is seemingly content with where he is at. Unfortunately, since Top Gun Maverick wrapped up every element of his story, Top Gun 3 can't be a Tom Cruise vehicle in the way that both the belated sequel and the original movie are. However, paradoxically, Top Gun 3 needs to happen, and the film should still feature Cruise. Well, first of all, let's clear one thing up. If there is a Top Gun 3, it has to have Cruise because that's basically what the franchise, if they want to continue to call it that, what the movies have been about. Maverick. Top Gun 3 could allow Cruise to see Maverick's transition into a happier retirement, wherein the Eternal Searcher finally settles down and enjoys life. Maverick doesn't need to be killed off, but he could take on a role similar to the one that Iceman plays in Top Gun Maverick by becoming a wise old mentor to recruits. Now that Rooster has effectively proven he can replace Maverick as a pilot, Top Gun 3 should turn Cruz's character into more of a teacher and less of an active participant in the action. All right, so now that we've uh, read up on the article here and what they seem to think, why they seem to think there should be a Top Gun 3, what do you think about all of this? I think I've made my, my opinion known here that I'm not up on the idea. I don't see a reason for this. The fans didn't come to the theater to watch Top Gun's Pete Mitchell become a teacher in his senior years. They wanted to see the action that he brought to the screen. And I don't think a sequel of this, of this, this concept would work. More to the point, I think they should leave it alone. Because, again, the only other way a sequel like this is going to happen is if they either kill him off or they retire him. And honestly, I don't think a lot of people want to see that. We like heroes. We like to see our heroes 
have victories. Yes, they're going to have their failures, but we'd love to see our heroes have successes. And we also want to see them in action. And the kind of story that this article was talking about, I don't see it being a success. But I want to hear your opinions on this. So please comment below, click the like button, and please, if you enjoy the video, subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. And for those of you who have subscribed to the channel, thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. I'm WFS, your doctor. Until the next time, my friends, God bless.